Welcome to this quick guide to weather in the DCS World Commission Editor. We're going to start by going up to the weather tab. And here we're looking at the static or the dynamic weather. So we'll begin on static. You have your temperature. Click on the preset and you can look at all of the presets that are available. These are very useful uh, and they're consistent across the whole map. So it's pretty good. It's what I normally use. Each of them have different bases. So if we click here, you see the base. Click here, you see the base changes. You can edit the base of the clouds by sliding this around, but they have different limits depending upon which one you choose. Q and H is the pressure. If you set this lower, then there's more chance of it raining, for example, or you get more cloud. I usually just leave it on whatever the default is for each of the presets. Next up, we have the wind. You can tell it which blows to direction. So it's blowing to this direction, which is a new addition, I believe. I don't think it used to say blow to. Or maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. You tell me. So you can set these however you want. And then if you just click on some of these, you see, because I've added wind here, it's added wind lower down, but not at the top. You can have up to four different levels of wind. Next up, you've got the turbulence, how much bouncing around you want to do. I tend to leave this at zero because I make multiplayer missions and turbulence tends to make them a bit weird. you got fog if you want to use it, how thick it is, and how good the visibility is. You can same thing for smoke, you have the visibility here. I usually just play with these and keep loading into the mission to see you know, what effect I'm going to get. And then when you're finished, you can click down here and you can save your weather settings. Okay, next up we have dynamic if you want to go down this route. So you can set cyclone or anti-cyclone. The wind travels from the end where the flag is to the dot. So in this case, the wind is going this way around. Anti-cyclone, you know, see it's going this way around. Uh, you can read these. Uh, the short sticks are five, the long sticks are 10. And so this is 20 knots, 10 knots, 5 knots, etc, etc. The pressure deviation, if you make this lower, so say we made it 800, you would see that the differences between each of these is a lot less, which is probably good if you're you know, placing carriers and stuff. You don't want to suddenly have like a 35 knot crosswind, because that would be problematic. You can of course edit the position of the cyclone here. At the moment it's here so we can move that around. I tend not to mess with this very often and again you've got the same extra settings, turbulence, fog and dust. And also in this tab is the time and date. If you click where it says sun and moon anywhere you get a representation of the horizon and if you move the sun around you can see it where it is in the sky. Don't forget this maps the southern hemisphere so Winter in the Northern Hemisphere is summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So that's why the sun was so low before, and now it's super high. If you want to see some more quick guides, you can check out this playlist. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the skies.